Hi guys, my name is Robert Fenanek, I'm from Fedevel Academy and in this video I would like to speak about Circuit Studio. Circuit Studio is developed by Altium and they sell it through Element 14. This is the website of the Circuit Studio and if you have a look on the software it is very similar to Altium Designer. See? What is the biggest difference is probably this menu here and uh, in this video I would like to go through the menu of this software so you can see what you can do with it. What I was uh, the most interested about is the compatibility between Altium Designer and uh, Circuit Studio. As an example I will open our open source project which is designed in Altium Designer. A file, open project, imx6rex, open. Schematic seems to be perfect. Looks like everything is working just fine. I can see it exactly as in the standard Altium Designer. But I don't see the PCB here. It's located here. If I double click on this file, it will open the standard Altium Designer. If you would like to add PCB to this schematic in the Circuit Studio, it uses uh, different file extension. So add new to project PCB. You can see instead of uh, standard PCB doc file, it is CS, Circuit Studio PCB doc. Uh, I don't know what will be the compatibility of the PCBs or possible import or export of the PCBs. Let's start with the schematic. If you have a look on this screen, you may notice there are some missing buttons here in the bottom right corner. But uh, all the other things they work very similar comparing to the Altium Designer. So for example, when uh, I press right click here, you can see the standard menu. When I press right click here, you can see the standard menu. When I click to file, new project, open project, open recent, save project, it doesn't need any explanation. This home menu, that's probably the place where you spend most of your time when uh, you will be designing a schematic. And uh, all these buttons which are here, if you are already Altium Designer user, you will know how to use them. It's very easy to learn this new interface. I actually worried that uh, how difficult it will be move from the old Altium Designer user interface to this new one. But uh, you just need to play with it for a couple of minutes, couple of hours. You will pick it up very quickly. No, almost no learning curve. Really good. I, I'm really surprised, I have to say that. So, you know how to use these standard buttons. View project documents, project libraries, messages. I don't really use much of these buttons. Maybe I use these messages when I compile projects. So I would like to see the warnings or the error messages. Otherwise, not much. Project, uh, add new schematic, add new PCB. Same as you can do here, press right click. Add new schematic library, PCB library. Generate outputs. This is new. This is something new. It looks like there is no uh, job file in the Circuit Studio. This is the replacement. You can use it exactly the same as job file. So when I configure it, you can use millimeters. You can set it up exactly the same way. It looks to me actually more simple than standard Altium Designer. Good improvement. Close. Variants. I'm surprised that 
Altium included variants in this uh, simple software. Again, good point for this. We use it a lot because it's uh, very useful. Templates, project option, document option, these are the standard options which you know from Altium. Tools, find, replace text, cross probe, you may use this. It uh, will help you browse between schematic and PCB. Move, align. Okay. I don't use these other buttons uh, a lot. Maybe this one sometimes. And outputs, report single pin nets, electrical rules, check, print. Now let's have a look at the PCB menu. Again, missing buttons in the bottom right corner and uh, exactly same file menu as you already know it. What is different is the home menu. All the buttons needed for layout, doing layout. This is same as before or similar. Select, OK, route, interactive routing, differential pair routing, I use this a lot. Unroute, I don't use this. Connections, show all, hide all, OK, place, path, via, text, line, keep out, polygon pour, Move polygon verticals, interesting. Dimensions, design rule check. If I click here, there are not really many rules which are going to be checked. Maybe they will change this in future. So you see only few rules. Okay, design rules, here you can specify the rules, so electrical rules, routing rules, mask rules, plane, and placement. Okay rules and violations so once you are running the design rule check you can browse through the rules and violations here board shape redefine board shape move board shape board cutout layer stack manager standard as in the altium 15 okay Drill table, I don't use this much. Board options. Snap grid. Origin units. And the grid. View. Project documents, project libraries, messages, output, desktop layout. I don't really use these. This is exactly the same what is here in PCB panel. Here components, differential pairs, 3D models. Object inspector, that's this. And filter, that's this. I'm surprised uh, there, this filter is uh, really simple. Looks like you cannot write the filter manually. So you have to just use this, what is here. And also what I uh, noticed, even you can uh, define these differential pairs and even you can uh, route the differential pairs 
I'm not really sure how to define the rules for differential pairs as uh, I don't see them here again maybe they will add this option switch to 3D so 3D view flipboard on the other side single layer mode so you can see when you are outing you can see only the one layer project add new schematic new PCB new library generate outputs variants project options okay. tools cross probe move align at least distance I use this a lot so measure distance on the PCB measure gap the clearance between tracks or items on the PCB measure selected primitives auto out I don't use auto out I don't use fan out component links sometimes you may need to update them and uh, pin swapping I don't use pin swapping outputs pick and place assembly drawing print Gerber files ODB++ and C drill files printing design rule check netlist status board information and that's it and because we are looking at this circuit studio I think it will be also interesting to have a look on uh, a library so I'm going to open a library file open project this is our integrated library open schematic library PCB library I go here and I click here what are the options in the library you normally want to add a component so you can add component no problem you can right click and you can see what you can do with the component and uh, what is interesting in this supplier links because again there are missing the buttons in the bottom right corner so this is one of the things how you can uh, actually add some information about the supplier so supplier link you can add search uh, for a component okay and here is uh, right click doesn't work so you cannot really import the or it looks like you cannot import parameters but you can add the link this is the link but when I double click here there are no supplier parameters but the plus point to the to this library thing is they are compatible with standard Altium designer home so library component properties select cut copy place pin drawing tools symbols view same as we know it project again we know this tools find replace move new part that's the part uh, if you would like to add here see part A part B and document options and that's it now let's have a look on the PCB library 
I just double click here and go to PCB library. Here are all the components from our PCB library. When I double click, standard window as usual. Home, library, select, insert or place, path, line, string, 3D body, good. Move, align, place component in PCB, library options, grid, reference, pin 1 or, or center of the component, units, measure, view, we know all these. Here, these buttons here are these windows which are here. Okay, switch to 3D. Okay, good. Flipboard, so you can see it from the other side. Single layer mode. Project, we know all these. If you would like to add component, just press right click. You can use new blank component or component wizard. There is component wizard, good. Looks like standard component wizard. Great. And one more thing, that's the way how to import components from the schematic to PCB and it is uh, hidden here. Project update PCB document. Just select this option, you will get the standard update window and you can import the components from schematic to your PCB. If you would like to know more, you can go on the Circuit Studio website, you can uh, ask for free trial and uh, you just receive email with instructions how to install it, you download stand alone license and you can try it by yourself. By the way, I'm not paid by Altium or something like this. I just do it because uh, I was curious about this new Circuit Studio software and uh, also it may save you some time, you know, because uh, you can just watch this video and you will get the idea what is it all about. And I'm pretty sure you would like to know how much it cost because that was my first question when I saw it. So you can go to Element 14 website, when I click here you will see how much it cost. 2691 euros. It's for the Circuit Studio standalone license plus one year subscription. And also I wanted to know how much is the subscription. So the subscription itself is uh, 446 euros. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to check out our other videos. See you soon!